Hey, so this is Ron with another test. I, I, I'm not a Harley guy, so this is kind of a new thing for me because I've always been kind of a, a big dual sport, big adventure bike kind of guy and had GS BMWs and V-Stroms and, and uh, sport touring bikes and 8 BMWs and some Triumphs and some Italian bikes. So uh, I like twisty back roads and Harley never made anything for me. And I gotta say, I'm actually very shocked with this bike because I really like it. I'm not sure I would run out and buy one because it kind of needs to, to go on some long trips and I'm kind of past the point where I'm doing long trips. But I was really amazed at how well it handled uh, when my friend said we were gonna ride in an area that's got tight, twisty little residential kind of roads and bumpy and up and down. I go, yeah, is this the right bike? Kind of, kind of heavy, kind of tall. But the, the most amazing thing about this bike, in my opinion, in some ways, is the fact that it lowers when you come to a stop, an inch and a half, and the whole bike just lowers automatically. And every stop I came to, um, I was shocked that I could put my foot down because you don't even kind of feel it, and it just kind of lowers an inch and a half, and suddenly your feet are flat on the ground, and uh, where normally they wouldn't be. Uh, the other thing that kind of shocked me was the motor. It's 150 horsepower, and. Uh, uh, tons and tons of torque, uh, very smooth at the, at the uh, bottom end, just a touch, touch, touch of vibration in, in the tank at high RPM, not in the seat, not in the bars, not in the pegs. Uh, I think if I was taking it on a long trip, I might, I might just ride with my knees out of an inch. <laughs> By the way, I kind of, I kind of almost burned my, my leg on this thing, got red hot, and I, the minute I touched it, I yanked my leg away and realized I think I would probably think about putting some kind of a different guard on. Somebody will come out with a guard. That's so minor in the big scheme of things. But the thing that really amazed me too was, was the handling. It, 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 we were on some really tight little roads and it, it handled like a much smaller bike. We kiddingly talked about this as being like a big KLR Kawasaki, which sounds very negative. But I've had three KLR Kawasaki's and I've put a ton of miles on them. And it's got that big rangy feel. Uh, easy to ride, uh, lots of uh, compression braking coming into corners. And uh, when I saw the pictures of this, I was not really impressed. But in person, I've actually kind of gotten used to this part, which is probably the most controversial, but it's different. It's not the usual BMW duck bill. And uh, it's, it's kind of great to see somebody do something a little different. And the tank is actually beautiful. The shape of the tank, metal, uh, you know, get, getting away from all the plastic and erector set and uh, all kinds of modes. Uh, I had it in the uh, comfort mode, uh, which was almost a little soft for the roads we were on, so the road mode was better. I never got around to the, uh, to the stiff mode. And uh, I love the dashboard. Everything you need and nothing you don't. It's all there, very clear. And you've got all these riding modes, and uh, it actually sounds it actually sounds pretty good with the stock pipe. Although um, they make a they make an aftermarket pipe that's probably only a, hopefully just a few decibels more than the than the stock. I'm sure there's other pipes that you could get that are loud, but and you know, this is kind of kind of bike you don't really want to be too loud. You want to be a little bit stealthy. So um, the uh, it's it's hard to find any fault with it. A uh, couple little, eh, little niggling. I, I, the switch gear feels a little cheap, but, but it made me crazy with the um, turn signals because it's just a tiny little button and I had nice thick gloves on. <laughs> They're not that thick, but yeah, I, I, I kind of kept thinking, did I turn it? I better hit it again. Uh, I, 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 did I really cancel it? I better, it wasn't a very positive cancel, so I kind of kept hitting it. I'm sure you get used to it but I'm, I'm just not used to one that doesn't have more of a feel to it. It should kind of click when you do things and it, and it doesn't. Pretty pretty minor complaint. Uh, the other thing that kind of boggles my mind is the side stand. So look at that, it hits. And I won't even bother taking it off the center stand, but in the up position, this thing is like right under your shift lever. What, what's that about? I mean, you go to put this thing down and you accidentally kick it into gear. Why isn't this tab down here? Who knows? Anyway, I, I wonder if you could just cut this off and have somebody put a tab on down there. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of weird. Um, this is the uh, upscale model that gets the uh, adjustable suspension. Oh, it also gets these GS style wheels, and I've had a number of GS uh, BMWs. And I was telling my friend that uh, I hit a football-sized rock at, a, at high speed 
on my one of my GS's, and uh, it really kind of came very close to throwing me off the bike. I was completely off the seat, off hands off the bars, bike was all over. When I got it stopped, I expected to see the wheel crushed, and it was fine. So I mean, uh, great wheels. Uh, love the uh, ability to lower at every stop. Uh, like the way it looks. Different. It's not the typical typical adventure bike. The seat seems fine. There's an after they have a, a, an aftermarket seat that's a little different. And uh, luggage, a little bit of a rack. Uh, my friend's going to take it on a long trip, so we'll see how it does on the trip. Um, I, I, think, I don't think I forgot anything. There's lo lots of great lights. This thing comes with the driving lights. This is kind of a cornering light, and the main headlight is down here. Yeah, I, when I first saw the pictures of this, it, it didn't do anything for me. Frankly, when it first came out, I thought, boy, Harley's going into a market that's not typically theirs. But, but I got to tell you, I think they did a great job, and... Um, I think they're going to sell a lot of these bikes, and I guess they have already. Anyway, this is Ron signing off.